All right, let's get it. So to find your geode config, you will go to Steam, click Browse Local Files, right-click Geometry Dash, Show Package Contents, then go to Contents, Geode, Config, More Icons, and here is your config. So what I, what I first want to do is download an icon from a texture pack. I'm going to scroll down and um, download the texture pack from this link. And you have your texture back here. Icons are right here. And the one icon I want to use, for example, is player 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and then paste it here. And then what's going to happen is that when you launch the game, now the game's opened, and what you'll see is you now have um, the icon right here. What you can also do is use icons with individual sprites. So we're going to go back to our texture pack before, and we're going to use Robot 13 as an example. What you can do is go into GD colon texture uh, splitter, well, you could, and then you can uh, go to downloads, and then you drag in your icons. This one in particular, Robot 13. And you can download the textures to a zip. And then you can probably just, if you want to edit them, you edit them. But once you're done with that, you can um, extract the zip and you can copy the um, files to your config. So let's go to robot, make a new folder, robot underscore 13. And then you paste the 13 items. And then we go textures. And what do you know? We have a robot right here. For um, texture packs, it's about the same as um, the Windows tutorial that I have linked in the description. And for trails, you can just make a trail. In, it has to be PNG format, by the way. Um, you just make up a trail and then you put it in here. I'm gonna get a trail from that texture pack. And paste it here. And reload textures. If you go to the trails, you'll have your trail right here. And there are options for these trail, like if you want to blend it or if you want to tint it to tint it to the player color. And uh, yeah, uh, that's about it. So uh, see ya.